Welcome back to the shop. Bruce here. We're going to talk now about how to uh, tame the great white LEDs. Surface mount, that is. Okay, we've got some scotch carpet tape here. Set that off to the side. My buzzer. It's off the screen, but uh, it's there. Some solder. A couple of pairs of tweezers. A pair of scissors. And an LED and a resistor. You need an LED, a resistor for each LED. We'll set them off to the side. Take a piece of carpet tape that I've already cut. It's uh, got a, an adhesive backing on one side and uh, uh, the, the tape itself. Pull the backing off. Now I have a, a sticky surface here. And so we can jump right into the LED. These come in these tape reel containers that are fairly uh, easy to deal with. But the LEDs themselves tend to be very small and kind of difficult to see and work with. I don't care what polarity I've got here. I'm not going to watch for the polarity. I just want to get the LED out of the container and stuck down on the, um, the tape. Now what I'm going to do is take my buzzer and I probe it. Well that didn't work so I must have the wrong polarity. So I'll come around and probe it from the other side. Either that or it's a bad LED. No, it's not a bad LED. See it lights up right there. So the plus is going to be on the right hand side. For the rest of this we're going to work in a zoomed in mode. It makes it what's going on around it a little harder to see but it makes what we're doing so much more visible. Okay now I've got an 820 ohm resistor here in its tape and reel. I'm going to dump it out and I'm going to position it over here on the side of the LED that we already tested and we know is the positive side of the LED. To make this connection first we need to tin the leads of the LED and the resistor. So just get a little, a little bit of heat and a little bit of solder on the resistor and on the LED. Now see the heat damage the tape just a little bit so I'm going to move this over here so I know I've got a good a good hold down going for me and then I'm going to butt them right up to each other if I can get it away from the tape it doesn't seem to want to come very easily there we go now butt them right up against each other and then take the soldering iron and come in and just touch the tip to the joint and didn't get it quite that first shot. Didn't get the LED very solidly down to the to the uh, tape there. But now we've got it uh, got it soldered. We can test it and prove that it works. This should be the positive side. This should be the negative side. Now you'll notice it's dimmer than it was before. May, you may not be able to see that on the video. It's dimmer than it was before because you have more resistance in series with it. Now we're ready to start talking about how to deal with the white color of the bluish white color of this LED. This is where Tamiya's acrylic clear orange paint number X26 comes into play. Okay, I've assembled, assembled a couple of Q-tips or a couple of uh, toothpicks and a Q-tip here. All I want to do is just dip a little of this of this orange paint, get a little drop on it, and I got a little too much there. See if I can get the, about the right amount. Come down here and put just a touch of it on top of that LED. Not a whole lot. I'll take the other, take a clean toothpick and kind of smear it around just a little bit. And now, if we look at the LED, we'll see that it has more of an incandescent look to it. What I'll do is I'll put a little bit of this on, wait a while, an hour or so. If I like the color, I'll leave it. If not, I'll come back and add a little more to it. Good luck with your LEDs.